Oh yeah, got all my clothes outside. Hey guys, it is, uh, I was about to say it's 10-17, but it's October 17th, and I'm about to go to the gym. About to go to the gym, and then straight from the gym, we're gonna go to sushi, baby. We're going to Conveyor Belt Sushi, I'm gonna take you guys with me, and I think today I'm probably gonna try to, try to record the videos where I talk about how I did my caloric, caloric scheme, or my plan when I was cutting, what my calories were, and everything, um, and just kind of... I think I'm gonna record like multiple videos talking about the cut. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna make a transformation video eventually, but that takes time. And I'm getting uh, some pictures from the past, digging up old mummy dust, you know, so I can show you guys how how I used to be back in the day. And uh, I'm like smiling because I was fat as crap. <laughs> Anyways, and then I'm gonna talk about a video about how I you know, yeah how my strategy when cutting and how everything went blah blah blah. And then I'm gonna do one more video about how I pl how I plan to get out of this cut and go into the bulk and my plans moving forward and exactly how I'm going to do it. So, yeah, but first we're going to go to the gym. It's kind of annoying because I got like a small a small amount of pricklies on my mustache area and uh, I can't freaking shave right now because I thought I brought spares from America for the top of my eraser, but I didn't have any and I threw the other one away because it's too old. So now I can't even shave right now, so I gotta buy a razor head from the supermarket. So, bear with the pricklies until later, guys. Alright, so see you at the gym. Peace! Alright, here we are, guys. So, nor today is my back for thickness and traps day, and normally I would start out with uh, either rack pulls or deadlift. But my lower back is feeling extremely tight and it still feels funky. And uh, yesterday after playing all the tennis for like two hours or whatever, um, we were doing a lot of serving and uh, I don't know if anybody knows this, but when you serve, you know, you're like, Ugh! and you like stretch your lower back, whatever. Anyways, the point is, after that my back was feeling super, it's just super tight and extremely uncomfortable. Um, it actually got worse when I did the back squats this past week doing a little strength doing the um, strength program section of the Candido program. So I think I am going to, well for today I'm not gonna do deadlifts or rack pulls, I'm just gonna focus on just the upper back and lats area, not my lower back, cause I don't want to put pressure on it. Um, and I'm not gonna do like low bar back squat or just any, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the squat or the deadlift portion of the strength program. I'm gonna focus on improving my bench press because that's, that's like a safe movement for me right now. I don't feel any pain or anything. But yeah, for the the back is just not cooperating at the moment. And you know, I can still make gains, but maybe not like the str not the same strength gains I would make because I'm not gonna be doing the strength program. But the, the, the reason the reasoning behind this is not just because like, oh, I'm making excuses, he doesn't want to do it. It's, it's actually because I mean, just think about it, like, y you want to make gains, right? You want to make like, muscular gains, whatever. But you're not going to be making any gains if you're injured. So it's better just let it heal and let it rest to full. I didn't let it rest to full when I tried the back squats last time. And low bar back squats do put pressure on your lower back. So, yeah, I'm going to take a break from those and just focus on the bench. And, to and for this back workout today, I'm just going to focus on the lats, upper back, and all that. All that. I don't want to mess up my lower back anymore.
Hey guys. So I started off doing a standing, you know, standing bent over dumbbell rows for the upper back, but my lower back couldn't even handle that. Like once I finished, I'm doing a superset right now. Once I finished the first set and I moved on to the second, my lower back was just like about to give out. So I switched from doing the bent over standing to using this incline bench. I lowered the weights, of course, still doing superset, but this way there's no uh, stress on my lower back and I can still focus on upper back. But uh, yeah, my lower back's feeling very bad. So something you always gotta keep in mind is stay freaking safe, man, or else you're gonna be gone for maybe longer than you, you bargained for. All right guys and gals, so I just finished working out and now I'm gonna go to Sushi Row. It's, it's like a 10, 15 minute bike ride here, from here. I also, re I recorded the whole workout today so sometime I'll make that into a video and kind of commentate through it and talk about what I'm doing and everything. So that'll probably come a later time. But anyways, for now, I'll, I'll, I'll check in with you guys once I get to the restaurant. So see you soon. This is the bike parking. Got my bike. It's two random people. Sushi Row. So we are here. It's currently 3.41. So it's not really time to eat. So hopefully there's not that many people inside. But anyway, it's time to get my food on. Cheat meal day, baby. Alright guys, so here we are. Just put my order in. So, today I don't plan... I don't plan on going for any records or anything. My record is 33 plates. And uh, I'm not going for any records today or anything, but I'm just going to eat until I feel satisfied. So, you know, if I hit a record, that's that. But I'm not going to specifically go for any records or anything. So, yeah, baby. I think uh, I told Brian that he should start having, um, I told Brian he could probably start doing refeed days. Because one thing that I would have done in my diet had I... No, and I think I talked about this maybe, I'm not sure, but definitely I would have done a refeed day at least once a week because sometimes I noticed my weight would stall and I would just feel so dead of energy that it's not really, it's very difficult to do more cardio or work harder in the gym, but whenever I had refeed days, I felt good for like the next four or five days. You know, and that would last me until my next refeed day and I'd always be able to work harder or do the cardio and I'd end up lower weight than the previous week so I definitely would have used refeed days more often or every week probably had I not been so afraid of like <laughs> gaining weight and not being able to lose it but next time I'll know so that's one little thing. My plate is coming, there it is. I am brown, chido, chido brown. Give me that. Ooh. This is a uh, kampachi. Not exactly sure what that is, but it just looked interesting, so I got it. Let's, uh, let's see what kampachi is. This is Samma. I'm not sure what any of these translate into English, to be honest. It's Kampachi, Great Amberjack, Rudderfish. Let's see what Samma is. Where is it? Which one could it be? Pike or Sauri? Hey, oh, this one's easy. Roast beef. Roast beef. Oh, get that mustard. That, this, what is that? Okay, it's not mustard. I thought that was a demon sauce. About to flick that shit off. <laughs> oh snap, this one looks pretty good. This is also mine. That one looks pretty cool. Artistic. Wow, they brought this one out by hand. Can anyone guess what this is? This is a duck. Duck tataki. That's pretty cool. Let's see how this one tastes. 
Let's taste this duck, baby. This is actually like a seasonal item, so they, they don't usually have this. Dude, I don't know how you can come. I don't know how you can come here, eat like five or six plates and be done. That just like feels like nothing to me. Like I have like these five right here. Five done already and I feel like I've eaten like nothing. The guy the guy next to me has six plates and he's out of there. He's out. So I wonder if it's just a snack for him or if that's like an actual meal, because that's like it's like nothing man. So I got this one over here. It says uh crab and crab poop. No, just kidding. In America, they call this crab mustard. And it's like the in innards of the crab. That's the brown stuff and then there's actual crab in it. I'll show you the second round. I, I ordered my round of fives. I don't really like taking stuff off the thing because it's not like, sometimes it's not fresh if you grab it off there. So I just like order five at a time. So I'll show you when the next five get here. I'm, I'm waiting on it. All right, round two. Got some half glazed tuna with some ponzu jelly on top. Crab, crab mustard. This white fish that has been torched with some shiso type leaf under it. A uh, grilled salmon with some ponzu sauce on it. And a big piece of eel, anago eel. So this is round two, boys and girls. All right guys, round three. Got some uh, kind of charred salmon. This is the special basil cheese, basil cheese sa salmon. At uh, Sushi Row they have like this basil cheese combo that they made. It's really good. Maybe avocado, which is uh, you know shrimp and avocado and mayonnaise and onions. This is rudder, I think rudder fish. It's like this scary looking fish with a shiz ton of, with a, like a really sharp teeth. Yeah. And then I don't even, I'm not exactly sure what this is. It just looks like cooked fish with some ponzu sauce and onions, but round three. Oh my bad. This is the scary looking fish one. And this is the one, I don't know what it is. Still tastes pretty good. All right guys, moving on to round four. I don't really feel full at all yet. So here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to explain. This is a horse mackerel. This is like a cooked version, kind of cooked, grilled. Um, pike fish. This is a, these are sardines. This is a normal mackerel. It's like pickled mackerel. And this one's ham, onions, and mayonnaise. This is round four. This is gonna make 34 pieces. All right. So I just took a little break and recorded a video talking about how I did my, how I went about my macros and went about kind of my strategy for cutting. So I made a video about that, so that will be posted up later. And uh, right now, it's really three hours, I was gonna say. Pointless clip, sorry. This is definitely one of my favorites from here. Hey. All right, so I didn't order these two. These are repeats. I just, I just got, I just picked these up off the conveyor belt because these were delicious. So three more. All right, so these are the last sushi I'm gonna get. So I did not hit a record for sushi pieces because I counted it fair and square. Even with all this, that is only 46 pieces. Last time I got 52. So this is like a chicken hand wrap thing, pork, mayonnaise, and green onions, cheese. Shrimp, grilled chicken, and a big piece of eel, unagi eel though. I think I think it's actually harder to break a record at sushi though because kapazushi, the sushi is actually a little smaller and like, like look how big the crap on top of this is. Like at kapazushi it's not nearly as big. This stuff is like a lot so. It's definitely harder, I think it's definitely harder to break a record at Sushi Row, which is good because that means you're getting more food, for, more bang for your buck. 
Got the sweet sauce, the sweet sauce. Oh, 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 okay. It's a lot. Oh man, so after this I'm probably gonna get dessert. So Brian... Brian says he likes the sushi selection at Kappa Sushi better, but he likes the dessert at Sushi Go better. I don't know about which place has the better sushi selection, both are pretty good. Like some, there's some things here that I can't get at Kaposushi that I really like. And there's some things at Kaposushi that are really good that you can't get here. But this place definitely has better desserts. And there's, they have like a new dessert, seasonal desserts. And I want to try all of them. So I'm going to be getting a lot of desserts today. So after, after this cut is done, or now that i finished the cut, uh, this playlist is over. The Cutting Jet Life playlist is officially over. And I'm starting a new playlist that's called Bulking Jet Life. And this one's probably gonna go for a while. I looked at, I keep all the videos that I made um, on my external hard drive. And in the Cutting Jet Life, like this series where I've been cutting, I had 137 videos. So it shows you how long, you know, how much of my life, I guess, that this cut took. It's pretty crazy. It's kind of, you know, unbelievable that it's all coming to an end. It's all, it has come to an end. And the playlist is over to officialize that. Or officiate, official, whatever. And, uh, to make official. And, uh, the new playlist, the Bulking Jet Life. Showing how I'm gonna manage my bulk, showing how I want to progress and what I want to focus on. Is coming, well, it's gonna be up by the time you see this video, but... It's kind of crazy, man. It's kind of crazy. But uh, for anybody who does want to see older videos, you know, you don't have to scroll through all my videos. I, I did actually separate all my little video categories into playlists. So you can uh, go to the playlist section and check it out if you want to see any older videos. See how my vlogging was at the beginning and what I was doing, how I looked before. So, yeah, when I, Brian, when I met Brian, he even told me, like, he was like, yeah, man, when I met you, you know, you are not nearly this big. This is mine. Oh, my thing's not going off. I'm gonna take it. Oh, there it goes. It almost missed me, man. So this is a dessert. It's a sweet... It says it's a sweet potato. It doesn't really look like a sweet potato, but... Yeah, it looks, looks pretty good, though. Oh, it's cold. Ooh. Alright, alright, guys. I got one more sushi. A repeat. A little... What is it called? Rudderfish? That's the scary looking fish. This one was pretty good. I just wanted to get one more. So that's gonna make, I think, 47 pieces of sushi. Yeah, 47 pieces of sushi. And then I'm gonna have like four or five desserts. Not even gonna BS you guys. I go ham when I have my cheat meals, baby. But I didn't eat too much before all of this and working out. The workout today was two and a half hours. Burned 550 calories, so not bad. Why did I say rudderfish? I meant anglerfish, that's obvious. Anglerfish, the, the ones with little lanterns on their head, you know? And the really sharp teeth, a bunch of the little tiny sharp teeth. Scary looking one. Yeah, that's what this is. But it tastes really good, actually. I like it. I like it. It's like super soft. Super soft. Not what you would expect out of a demon fish. So all the desserts have arrived. It's gonna be like a shit ton of carbs. A red bean covered rice ball, a cheese tart of some sort. This is new. This is new, so I want to try it. This is also new, so I want to try it. Sweet potato. This is new, so I want to try it. And this is old. It was like a Hokkaido cream crepe cake. This thing is so good. Oh my god. Whoa, what the heck? Whoa. It's a sweet potato cake. Wow. It's pretty good. Oh wow guys. I just realized plate wise. Plate wise I matched what I got last time. Because here's 29. And then 1, 20, 30, 31, 32. So I've actually matched the amount of plates that I got last time. Not bad. And this high volume food, I'm pretty sure. 
probably ate more this time than last time. Alright guys, let's taste this red bean thing. Ugh. Oh wow, this is just rice. Interesting. I didn't know what this was, to be honest. I didn't know what was inside, so I wanted to try it out. Meh. Super Chinese flavor. Not that great. It's okay. Alright, onto this cheese tart thing. This looks pretty soft, not too thick. Wow. I actually said cheese souffle cake. And it's super light. It's super light and fluffy, but it's got like a strong condensed milk flavor. This is pretty good. Wow. So coming to conveyor belt sushi by myself has to be like one of the, my new favorite things to do because not only is the food great and pretty cheap, good bang for your buck, it's just super relaxing. Like it's already like five, it's 5:20 right now. So wait, 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 wait. Let me check the time. Yeah, 5:20. So I've been here almost like an hour. No, I've been here like an hour 40 minutes, so yeah, super relaxing time just flies, and this is delicious. So check me out, check me out guys, check me out. Got 31 plates, 32 plates. Look at the lady next to me. Four plates, get stomped. <laughs> Dude, how do they just, she came here for like literally 10 minutes, four plates and she's done. Come on, man. I don't know. I mean, obviously it's just me because I eat a shit ton. This, this thing, guys, this thing, here we go. Oh my god. This has to be like my number one recommendation for dessert when you come here. Holy crap. Alright guys, so it's finally coming to a close. I ordered the last thing that I'm gonna have today, last dessert. This is gonna be pretty good. I'm getting pretty, I'm like near full now, near full. I'm telling you guys, I'm getting like, every time I do this, I'm getting stronger. Last time, at this, I was more full than right now. The last time I had 32 and I was like, okay, I'm done. Right now I'm at 32 and I'm like, I could probably do like three or four more. But I'm just gonna do one more dessert and that will be it. Here it is, the finale. The chocolate parfait. Oh baby, so I'm gonna enjoy this. This is going to be the last thing I eat, and after this, I actually, the reason why I'm not overstuffing myself, like, I don't, it just seems that it's, I mean, this is a lot of food for normal people, but, uh, for me, I don't feel too bad right now, and the reason why I'm not going until, like, I'm dead is because I gotta go to the grocery store and buy food, because there's some things that I want to pick up at the grocery store, but I don't know if anyone can relate, but when you're super full and you go to the grocery store, you end up just not buying, or I end up not buying anything because I'm, I don't even want to think about food. So I'm purposely not trying to get too full so I can still think about food and buy what I need to buy. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this up and then peace out of here. And done, son. Holy moly. Alright, man. 5.40 now. That was a great meal. That cost me 3,974 yen. That's like uh, 35, around $35 for all that food. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. So now I gotta bike, bike my way, whoa, it's so blurry, bike my way back up to the grocery store, buy some stuff, and then see you guys once I get home. Alright guys, so I am back at home now, and I did go to the grocery store, picked up quite a few things, I just picked up some things, and uh, these are the two biggest pickups that I wanted, got a whole wheat flour, and... I got some all-purpose flour. This is wheat, but like they didn't have any normal flour. They only had wheat, all-purpose wheat flour and whole wheat flour. So I'm assuming these are different, but I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so these two bags together cost like about 400 yen, right? And my plan is to try to make homemade tortillas because, uh, it's, you know, it's easy to eat like tortilla wraps or whatever. It's like delicious with the chicken and stuff like that. But um, the tortillas at the store, the El Paso tortillas, it's 10 tortillas for a thousand yen, okay? That's a freaking ripoff. So I feel like with this this 400 yen, this can make so many tortillas. So this is probably going to save a lot of money if I can do it. And it's, I mean, it always feels better to eat homemade food. I mean, 
even if it doesn't taste that great, just because you made it taste better. So, yeah, I'm going to attempt to make tortillas tomorrow. See how that goes. I don't have a rolling pin, and they don't sell rolling pins at supermarkets, so I might check the home store tomorrow. That's very near my place. Or I might just try to hand press them. I don't know, man. We shall see. And holy crap, my veins are like popping out because of all the sushi that I just ate. All right, guys, last thing for today before we peace out. So I just wanted to show you guys how crazy like uh, yesterday's tennis was. Um, just to give you an idea of how many calories that actually burns. So yesterday, let me show you my fitness pal from yesterday. So my normal calories, look, normally my calories are about, the, my goal is 25, 20 a day. And that's what I've pretty much been hitting um, every day of this week. But yesterday, you know, I had a lot more because of the tennis. I ended up eating around 3,400 calories. That's 900 calories over what my goal was, okay? You would think that I would gain weight, right? But actually, the the amount of calories burned from the tennis made it to where yesterday, check this out, I'm gonna show you the Fitbit. So yesterday, I was 66.8, actually 66.75, but you can't do the double decimal, which is kind of annoying. And this morning, even after eating way over my calorie limit, I went down to 66.65, but I just rounded it up to 66.7. So that is, that's crazy. That shows you how many calories the tennis burned. So yeah, pretty ridiculous. But tomorrow my weight will shoot up, of course, because of the uh, huge cheat meal that I have. But you know, this is pretty much right on track for what I want to do. So um, a week earlier, a week earlier, let me show you on the little chart. This is this is so useful. But anyways, look, a week earlier, right here, I was 66.4, okay? And now I am 66.65. The 66.4 was accurate. I'm 66.65. That is 0.25 kilos, which is about, let's see here. It should be about half a pound. Um, so weight, point. So 0.55 pounds, which is perfect because during this bulk, I want to gain pretty much like half a pound, maybe a pound a week of lean weight. But eventually, that's gonna have to slow down because if I do that um, every week, it's gonna I'm gonna be fat as crap. So, but for now, just uh, going back into the bulk, I want to only gain about half a pound to maybe a pound in a week. So right on pace, and everything's going well. We're going to check my weight tomorrow. I wonder how high it's going to be. But yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for joining in. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, going to the uh, conveyor belt sushi thing. I know I haven't like been able to record myself, or last time I wasn't able to record. And I, one of my one of my like uh, acquaintances on Facebook was like, I want to see you go to the conveyor belt sushi. So I on purpose went to the sushi row because I know you can record in there. And it's actually really relaxing to just sit in there and record. And I, I finished the topic video, so that's good. But um, now I'm just watching the uh, League of Legends Worlds, EDG versus Fnatic. I want Fnatic to win, even though EDG is Chinese. Whatever. But uh, that's going to be it for today. So uh, see you in the next video, and peace out.